when she was taking her dance classes, I can see that she enjoyed it. She picked up choreography very easily. So right there I said, okay, maybe this is something that we can pursue. I kind of use the analogy, if you've ever seen the movie Elf, where he's like this giant with all of the elves and he doesn't really know it, but they're like, you don't really fit in here. We had that a little bit pretty early on. And I tried to kind of, I, I wasn't sure, you know, I, I was like, is he really talented or is he just really committed to this? You know, I, I don't know. Uh, then uh, Jane started in a small ballet school in Korea uh, where uh, the teacher told me uh, she had a wonderful talent in ballet. When I told her that we uh, were moving to Canada, she notified me of NBS. We live in Chris Pepsis in New Brunswick now. And we immigrated almost 10 years ago from Korea. I wanted something new. And actually, my brother-in-law was already living in New Brunswick and they actually invited my family to immigrate to Canada. But, you know, it's not easy to start new place in late 40s. But, however, uh, I thought that my family could be more relaxed and that I could give my children something more valuable. Before I moved here, my ballet teacher who was teaching me in Korea um, insisted that I should continue ballet because she saw something special in my dancing. And so I continued my training in Quispamsis. Uh, the ballet teacher of our uh, local ballet school, Mrs. Logan, explained how, uh, how outstanding uh, her talent was. And she introduced my parents to the summer school program at Canada's National Ballet School. And um, I mean, throughout the whole process, um, my parents and I, we were kind of, um, we didn't really know what this school was, but I knew that I wanted to do ballet and I really loved ballet. So um, I followed my dance teacher and I came to the summer school and fortunately I got in. When we received the call that Jane was accepted to the MBS, uh, one, one of the most uh, incredible moments of my life. However, <laughs> I soon realized that uh, Jane was too young and became worried. As far as I remember, they just asked me if this was what I wanted to do. and. I just told them, yes, I want to pursue a career in ballet and I really want to go to this school. Before the immigration to Canada, you don't expect to be a ballerina or you don't, you don't enter the ballet school. But anyway, it's the dream come true in Canada, so. I was reading about uh, two sisters that were applying for the summer school and they were older than her. And I was reading about their story and I said, you know what? Hmm, that sounds like something that maybe Marley can try when she gets to that age. So my mom asked if I wanted to audition for MBS and I was really open about it. So I went to the audition and I got in. Once I went to the audition, um, I knew right away that I really wanted to come to the school. So like there wasn't much hesitation. She was nervous and uh, yes, she was, she was excited at the same time. She was excited at the same time because she wasn't sure if she was, if she would make it. And, um, but I had, you know, we, we encouraged and, and practice and, and just tell her, you know, all will be well. And yes, she did, and here she is. <laughs> There was a little bit of research that was done on the school and uh, different ballet schools we were looking at just to see how life was there. And so she was aware that this is a professional uh, avenue that we were going to venture on. 
Yeah, and she was very happy in regards to moving towards that direction. I was really into like music videos and like hip hop when I was really little. And I was just kind of really energetic and dancing around. So my mom kind of wanted to channel that into something. I started to think we should put him in some sort of dance. I went online and found a ballet school near us that uh, had a boys program. They said you could bring him in and they would look at him and see if it would be a good fit. And that was it. And we just knew it. I mean, it was the only thing that interested them after that. When we moved to South Carolina, I didn't have a program like that. That was the first time we were kind of in a school where we were like, oh, there aren't other, there aren't a lot of other boys. And the other boys that were in the program weren't serious about ballet. At some point he outgrew it. And I took him to a, a director at a program that was well established in the United States. And I just said, I have this little boy. Just tell me, like, is he talented? What do I do? And they saw him in class and they just said, yes, you know, he, he needs to go somewhere else, mostly to be with other boys. It's really important that he does this. I had heard of YAGP, Youth America Grand Prix. It's an international competition for ballet and directors from all over the world come to see it. And I thought, well, this will be a way where he can, a lot of people can see him and I'm not driving all over, you know, taking him to all these auditions. I, I paid somebody basically to teach him a solo and we put a vest on him and, you know, like threw him on stage. He got invited to New York to the finals and there were other boys like him. It was the first time I was like, oh, there, there they are. You know, I don't, I don't know where they are. They're not, they're all over, but they're not in one place. And here they were in one place. And he got a scholarship to train with the Bolshoi in the US. They do a summer program in Connecticut. He was like, I love this. I love the teachers. I love the whole thing. And they invited him to train in Russia. And I was like, uh, he's 10 and he doesn't speak Russian. And he was like, I want to do this. I said, you know what, Wesley, I will, I will find a place for you. We will look, I will help you. It's not right now, I know you're disappointed, but we will figure it out. And so um, I looked into every program that had a full voice program, men's program, um, some sort of academics and some sort of housing. And everything just fell short. I mean, like nobody had it all. I thought in my mind, well, he'll go for the last two years of high school. He'll be old enough, I'll get him ready and we'll get him somewhere. So he did YGP one more year and he won. He went to New York and Deborah Hess saw him in class. And she came out to me to talk to me and she said, you know, I think he would be a good fit at MBS. I don't see you on my list, you know? And I said, oh, I, he would love to go do a summer there. And she said, well, we're a year round program. So he went for the summer at MBS and he called me a few weeks in and he said, like, this is it, this is it. This is where I want to go. I couldn't have asked for a better fit for Wesley and just for a better program. I'm just so glad that he's there because he's safe. He's safe and he's taken care of and he's getting the training that he needs. But more importantly, he's becoming this amazing human being. You know, it's like he's really able to like bloom.